CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thousands of striking B.C. teachers and their many supporters hit the streets of Victoria today, marching to the B.C. legislature. They came from across the province with their signs and placards to deliver the government a message. A crowd estimated at 5,000 or more snaked its way downtown on its way to the legislature lawn. And there, there was a show of strength and unity with many union members there, other supporters who'd been kept off their own jobs today by secondary pickets. CTV's Joe Perkins begins our coverage. <laughs> It began as soon as the first ferry docked. Teachers pile into buses, bound for Centennial Square, where teachers from across the province gather by the thousands, ready to fight Bill 22. Class sizes are huge. Special needs kids, oh my goodness, there's not enough resources. We're not willing to sit down and just have our class sizes obliterated. They're, they're stripping contracts, they're, uh, they're not negotiating. This is about democracy. Many armed with personal accounts. Uh, I have special needs kids that are coming into the system and I'm, and I'm concerned about what kind of services they're going to receive. And a message clearer than ever before. Wages are the last thing on the table as far as we're concerned. As the group snakes its way towards the legislature, the teachers know they are not alone. It's not just the teachers that this is about. We've got all sorts of unions out here realizing that uh, this could be the end of democracy. With its leader at the helm, a sea of protesters make their final push up Government Street, arriving at the steps of the legislature. Sisters and brothers, I love this labor movement, but there are days I really love it. And today is one of those days, I gotta tell you. Thank you all for coming. Victoria police estimate 5,000 people turned out in opposition of Bill 22, legislation that would suspend the teacher's strike and the partial job action. But with the province debating and some even watching from inside, the teacher's president offers a stern warning. Unfortunately, we're not dealing with reasonable people. We're dealing with a group of people who will push this legislation through. And when they do, they need to know that we've only just begun. We are united, we are resolved, and we have powerful, powerful allies. Thank you so much. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. A crowd of teachers in a confrontation with the province. The opposition leader says they've been provoked. And I ask you to join us today and in the future to fight for public education because there has never been a time when we need public education, public school teachers, and a commitment to an, a fair and equal society. Never been a time that we needed it more than now. Thank you very much. And it's not over yet. The province's teachers will take their third day of strike action tomorrow. After that, the union has permission from the Labour Relations Board to strike one day per week. If I could predict the future, that would be nice. I would prefer not to, but if that's what it takes to get attention to the cause, then we do it. And they do it together, a group determined to get what it wants. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! What do we want? When do we want it? Now! Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.